Hey, let me show you how to create beautiful sounding chords in the key of E major. We are going to keep the same eight chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight but we're gonna change the finger picking pattern. There are just three steps that you can follow to create such beautiful open chords in E, and each step adds one more layer to the chord. Step one is finding the E major scale on the low E string. The reason why we learn the scale on the E string is to build the first layer of the chord, which in this case, of course, is the bass note. Now this is the E major scale, E, F sharp, G, a, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. Step number two, we add the third to the bass note. We can do that on the third string. You can consider this just like playing the E major scale on the G string, starting from the G sharp. Then, of course, you add the bass. Now this is the third string, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, and G sharp. And of course, when you put it together with the bass, you have Step number three, you want to add the third and the second open string to each chord. And with this step, we will change the chord family of each chord since the E and the B string open have a unique relationship with each one of these chords. So you're going to end up playing an E major, F sharp minor 11, a E major over G sharp. A add 9, a B add 11, a C sharp minor 7, a B add 11 over D sharp, and an E major chord. The quickest and easiest exercise is to play just the low E string and the G string so that you can familiarize yourself with the chord shapes. E major, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and A. B major, C sharp minor, D sharp minor, and E. You can also be musical when you play these chords. Exercise number one, we're going to use a simple finger picking arpeggio, we call it Pima. So we have thumb on the sixth, index on the third, middle on the second, and ring on the first. Very simple, we are using this arpeggio twice for each chord. One, two, and three, and four, and five. Six and seven and eight. Exercise number two, thumb slapping pattern. We're gonna have the thumb and index simultaneously on the sixth and the third string, then a thumb slap on the sixth string, then the bass. Then we have the middle on the second string, ring finger on the first string, a thumb slap again, and a bass again. That's the pattern. Repeat the same pattern for all the other chords. Exercise number three is the alternate placking pattern. Again, we're gonna have the thumb always on the sixth, 
index on the third, middle on the second, and ring on the first. This time we're gonna alternate the bass of each chord with the index, then with the middle, then with the ring, and then with the middle again. So. In total we have eight plucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you play faster, now you want to do one pattern per chord. It sounds like this. Exercise number four is the Travis picking pattern, which is one of my favorite patterns to play. With the Travis picking technique, the thumb plucks two strings. In this case, the sixth string and the third string. Now you want to apply the same finger picking pattern for all the other chords. Exercise number five is the simple tremolo pattern. With the tremolo technique, you pluck one string with three fingers. Usually is ring finger, middle, and index finger. And you do it very quickly. But in this case, we are practicing a simple tremolo pattern, which means that we are only going to use the middle finger and the index finger, always on the first string. So now we have the thumb on the sixth, third, and second string. And for each note that we play with the thumb, we are going to alternate the middle and the index finger on the first string. So it's thumb, middle, index, then thumb again on the third, middle and index and thumb again on the second and then middle and index it sounds like this you want to do the pattern twice for each chord Of course, once you master this five finger picking pattern, feel free to change the chord progression. You don't have to use eight chord shapes. You could literally just use two, three, or four chords in a different order. For example, I hope you enjoyed this lovely chord progression. Let me know which one is your favorite finger picking pattern. I'm gonna be to practice this. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you next time.